Hi guys, this is another video from World Wide Arcades. This is just showing you my um, progress with designing a new coin pusher that I'm going to be making. Uh, it's like a two player back to back pusher. Um, I'm going to put some pictures um, on my social media and that show you the sort of plans I've got for it. Um, it's going to be a replica of the Crompton's original electric rock. Um, it was originally a six player machine. Some of you will probably know it. Anyone who doesn't, it's basically just a coin pusher like my others. Um, it's a massive one, which is too big to fit in my arcade. So I'm going to be making a replica, smaller version of it. Uh, I've basically designed all these graphics. Um, I've just been using like PowerPoint, uh, except this is like the free version, uh, WPS Office. Um, I've basically used like pictures of the original um, electric rock pusher, as you see here. Uh, just sort of as my inspiration of how it actually looks um, and then search the web for different images that I can use uh, to recreate what the actual push is like um, this is one piece that I've designed this is for the top coin slot door so basically there'll be the shoots here um, you know where you put the money in and then here we've got the uh, the label which will say um, how much it is to play the machine uh, which I've got here and these 2p and 10p play signs these are the original Crompton's ones uh, thanks to Paul for uh, getting those done for me um, I've also got these little signs here that I made which is for the changes where basically you'll insert a pound coin and it will give you money in well whatever coins the machine set to play uh, and if we look in my second design, then this one has got the the change feature to the side of it. So there'll be a coin mech here, and the rejected coins will come out there. Um, basically, just for the change feature, which will be operated using a hopper. Um, well, hopefully, when I get it all sorted. Um, if any of you have got any advice on that, then just comment down below. Then the third bit of artwork I've got is the... Uh, the backboard, this is basically the bit where the coins come bouncing down um, down onto the uh, play field so basically the pusher would be under here and uh, the coins would bounce down the back here um, and then uh, well that's what I've designed basically um, I'll show you the original and then you can compare it to the one I've just done so that's the original, uh, it's a bit dark but that's the original one designed by Crompton's, um, which has obviously been replicated to look like that. I know it's not a perfect match, uh, but it's as close as I can get. And with the Perspex on the front of it, it will look pretty much the same. Um, basically, I've then sort of screenshotted them here. Um, so this is my progress at the start with uh, none of the... Uh, little rock pictures on and then obviously that's what I've come to have now um, if any of you need any artwork replicating then I can do that uh, it's pretty easy for me to do but it takes a lot of time and effort to get it exactly how you want it um, so basically that's my progress with a new coin push I want to make uh, I know this video has been a lot of me just talking and blurting words straight at you you might not understand it but thanks for watching this video um, I'm gonna put some pictures at the end of this video to show you the sort of size pusher that I want to build and some pictures of the original electric rock um, basically my reasons for wanting to recreate it is that it's a really good machine every time I've played one in the arcades it's been really good payout um, I've got one in my favorite arcade that I go to which is on Tempe play and it's just amazing payout, so I just want to replicate that and have one in my own home. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe if you want. Well, please do. Uh, comment down below. Give this video a like. And thanks for watching.